It's no fun getting hurt at work, but Apple Physical Therapy's proven rehabilitation program is designed to get injured workers back on the job. Apple works hard to communicate and coordinate with all the stakeholders, the patient, the physician, the claim manager, the vocational service provider, the employer, and the insurer. Our occupational and physical therapists are trained to use our specialized work rehab equipment and training methods to ensure the best outcomes, just like they did for a local firefighter named Mike McGinnis. And now a special presentation of Apple Physical Therapy, Patient Stories. You know, I love going to work every day and, and, and being with, with my crew, but also, you know, I love going on calls and, and helping people, and that's, that's what it's all about. Mike McGinnis has been in the fire service for 18 years, loving every minute of it. A home office full of awards and old family photos attest to the fact that firefighting has been in McGinnis's blood from the day he started as a volunteer at Lake Taps. These days, he's based in Bonnie Lake as a lieutenant for the East Pierce Fire and Rescue Squad. While events like this training burn are dramatic and what most of us think about when we think about firefighting injuries, McGinnis re-separated a problem shoulder after responding to a boring little kitchen fire as he simply loaded fire hose back onto the engine. I wasn't doing anything real graceful or, or, <laughs> or heroic. I was just, um, you know, trying to, trying to reload the engine and, and dislocate my shoulder. And it's like, oh man, this is... This is not what I want to go through I, again. You know, I don't, want, I don't want to miss the time off work. I don't want to, you know, I, we just had a new son, a, a new baby, and I, I, I want to still be able to hold him and, and stuff like that. And I know, you know, having surgery, I wasn't going to be able to do that. While it might seem like a separated shoulder would rate pretty low on a firefighter's fear meter, McGinnis says he was afraid. I asked him if he was worried that he might be forced out of the career he loves. Most definitely, because you know a lot of our work is is over the head, um, out out here and 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 stuff. And you know my range of motion uh, initially, right after the surgery, and even in the physical therapy, it was you know I was in a brace like this, um, unable to move my shoulder for for an extended period of time, and, and I wasn't sure that I was ever going to get that range of motion back, and that that really scared me. Yeah, a lot of it's fear. It's like, am I going to get back to my job? Am I going to get the money that I need to pay for my family and pay for all my bills and whatnot? But that's, you know, the benefit of therapy because we get that confidence back in people. Not only do we get their strength, but we also get them feeling like, hey, you know, I'm that much closer and hey, I, there is light at the, end of the at the end of the tunnel and I'm going to succeed and get back to what I do. And, and that, in this case, is work. Nathaniel Duris is one of Apple Physical Therapy's occupational therapists who specializes in getting injured workers back on the job. Cases like Mike McGinnis's are very normal, not necessarily resulting from intense physical work or dramatic accidents, just all those seemingly routine daily motions or tasks that can result in physical problems in just about any occupation. Duris is part therapist, part friend, and part no-nonsense motivator. It becomes their job. You know, so we're, we're focused on the prize. We're not stuck in that role that now we're driving our kids to daycare and all that kind of stuff. Because who was doing that before you got injured? You know, we're focused on getting people back to work. That way they can live their life. They can make the money they need. They can be happy and their family can be happy. Lieutenant McGinnis says Apple Physical Therapy provided the right combination of TLC, motivation, and expertise to get him back on the fire line. Oh, they were, they were huge. I, the, you know, that's what... My, my whole motivation, you know, besides getting back to work, was, was from them, you know, and, and working with me, um, getting, getting the strength back also, and, and the flexibility. These days, Mike McGinnis says his shoulder feels great. He counts his team of therapists at Apple among his friends, running a half marathon with one, taking spin classes with another, and stopping by the clinic to visit if there's ever a call in the area. And therapists like Nathaniel Duras like running into former patients too. That's the best part of Apple, you know, we are in our communities, we do see people. Like I say, I don't ever want to see people back here, but I love seeing them at Target, Walmart, wherever. I can see them doing what they want to do and they're all telling me, they're like, look at my wrist, it feels so much better, you know. 
that's, that's the best, because then that's where success was made for everybody on that.